this is a sample drawing of this head study by Rubens using the Loomis method. Start with a circle to represent the cranium. Circle within the circle on the lower left to represent the flat plane on the side of it. Dividing line up here for the hairline, here for the brow here for the base of the nose. That puts the eyes about here. And the front of the face down to about here. I'm going to block in the neck and shoulders. And that's about it for the Loomis section of the drawing. Now I'm going to mark where the bridge of the nose is. Way over here. underside of the nose because we're looking up at the head. And I'm going to start not with features but with a really rough shadow map so that I can begin to see this head in terms of light and dark. Remember, I'm left-handed. If you're right-handed, you're going to be shading the opposite direction. Now that I can see what I'm doing in terms of light and dark, it's going to be much easier to get the features in the right places. I'm going to place a little shadow down here for the bottom of the ear. Check it against the level of the mouth. Looks OK. I'm going to go to this eye. Notice I already have a feel for where the eye socket is. It's going to make it a lot easier to place the eye correctly. And the eyelid.
Notice that this other eye is buried in shadow, but we can still see the iris as a, just a patch of dark within the dark. Forms of the nostrils. Notice that the nostril on the right is really foreshortened compared to the other one. When I place this center curve on the lip, I'm always thinking of its relationship to the philtrum. And I'm thinking about how the philtrum is coming right out from underneath the middle of the nose. His lip projects forward a lot, which brings this curve slightly to the right of that feature. And then notice how foreshortened this section of the upper lip is and how elongated this side is. Now I'm shadow mapping the mouth with a little more detail. Notice there's a lot of reflected light on the upper lip. Right here bouncing up from the highlight on the lower lip. There's a little mustache. And bottom lip looks narrower because we're looking up at it. We're seeing the full surface of the upper lip, but less of the bottom lip. And notice the brow ridge creates this indent right above it, transitions the forehead. And the forehead is foreshortened because we're looking up at the head. A little more depth of shadow under here is going to bring out this little bit of reflected light under the chin. And that's about it. Notice that we started with our plane changes here, front of the face, Loomis head, and we quickly worked up to a quick shaded study of this study by Rubens. Thank you.